Okay, but let's go. Woo, 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 woo. Let's, let's go, go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Hi guys, I'm Lucas. And I'm Elena. And welcome to a couple more review. Today we're back with our list of the 100 greatest movies of all time. And in case you haven't followed us before, we're gonna put a link down below with the article we take the list from. And today we have number 63, which is Donnie Darko. So watch out for my inspirers ahead. Donnie Darko came out in 2001, it was directed by Richard Kelly and it stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Donnie Darko and Drew Barrymore as Karen. The movie tells the story of Donnie Darko, an awkward teenager who befriends a figure in a rabbit costume called Frank that only he can see in his head. And Frank tells him that the world's gonna end in 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes and 12 seconds. And that's when the story unravels itself. What do you think about this movie? So, first of all, I've never seen this movie before, mm. and I think it's very famous in pop mm. culture. I'm not sure why, it's just like, it feels like everybody has seen it, mm. so I was like, I really need to watch this movie, but I never did. So I was a bit excited about it, and uh, I'm gonna say that I enjoyed it. Mm. I haven't enjoyed it as much as I thought I would, mm. let's just say that, but it was still very entertaining to yeah. watch. I think that, first of all, Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie was like a baby, like it was, mm. it was, it was so baby young. Gyllenhaal. Yeah. <laughs> But he was already quite a good actor. I feel mm. like this role was really good because the movie was entirely about his character, to be fair. Mm. So I feel like he was really good in this movie. And it was actually really funny to see his sister as well in the movie because mm. I didn't know that she was going to be in it. Mm. So it's really funny to see them act together because I've always mm. seen them in separate movies. And she's quite good as an actress mm. as well. And they look identical, by the yeah. way. And I feel like the story is really entertaining because it's a mix like, between a drama and a thriller and I feel mm. like the old time I felt like really not at ease and I feel like that's mm. what they wanted you to feel yeah. because from the start it's literally a countdown to the moment that the world is supposed to end mm. so you're like you're just thinking oh my god what is happening and like mm. days go by like until like the very last day mm. and it's very interesting to see how the story develops I think in yeah. that sense it was very interesting and until the end I wanted to see what was gonna happen mm. so I think that's great and also how it ends in the end I think it was quite good I didn't yeah. expect it to happen. The fact that he he's actually the one that dies in the end mm. and that way like everybody else doesn't. So I think that that, that was quite smart. I actually mm. enjoyed it. What about you? Yeah, no, I, I've seen this movie before. Uh, like you said, not going to be my favorite movie of all time, but it, it, it's a good movie. So uh, where you touched was the, the mystery. I think the mystery of this movie is what carries the movie on. It's... Uh, it's a little bit trippy. There's a lot of like visual things that you're a little bit like, what the hell is going <laughs> on here? But it is uh, the mystery that carries on the movies, but makes you want to go all the way to the end. So there's always that little thing that you want to figure out what's going on. Is Frank just a figment of his imagination? Or is Frank really like someone who is like just trying to help, you know, him stop the end of the world? You know, so is it all just like part of him taking a lot of medicine or is he just going crazy because at some point they even say that oh the medicine is taken they were just placebos Placebo, yeah. so you never know where you land with this movie is he crazy or is this really happening so i thought that that was really cool jake chillen hall as always amazing as a as an actor in this movie it really sticks the creepy weird teenager you know especially when he's got his knife and he's like poking the the mirror trying to poke frank with a with a knife that that was a creepy scene yeah. and it's quite cool also not gonna mind seeing a cutie little megan gyllenhaal on screen <laughs> always brings a smile to my face but what was bad about this movie so i think that in a way like it wasn't as good as i was expecting maybe hmm. because it was it's so hyped up as a movie. Mm. I feel like everybody just loves it so much. So I expected a bit more. So mm. maybe it's just like subjective. Maybe it's mm. just me. But I feel like it was a really good movie. But it lacked something to make it great for yeah. me. And also I think it was a bit long. <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I, I feel agree. like it, it was good. But I feel like even if it was to be a bit shorter, nothing would be lost to me. Mm. So I feel like that was another thing after a while, even if I was still into it and I wanted to know how it was mm. going to end. I feel like it, it was a bit dragged on. Yeah, it mm. was a bit long, I would say. What about you? So the bit that I'm going to say is like, if you're not the type of person that is into this type of movie, like the this thriller, that it has a mixture of 
time travel with a mixture of religious themes as well. So if you're not the person that's into that, then I'm going to say this movie's not going to be for you. So it's nothing that is going to make you, oh, wow, I really want to see this. So if you don't like those themes, this is definitely not for you. And like you said, a bit too long for me. But let's talk about ratings. Sure. So on Rotten Tomatoes, the movie currently has an 86% as a score. Mm. So not as high as I thought it would be. Usually Rotten Tomatoes with this movie is quite high. Mm. <laughs> but um, I would say that overall, I would probably give this movie a 7.5. What about yeah. you? No, I'm going to agree. I'm going to give this movie a 7. Um, like I said, it's not the best movie out there. It's not the worst movie out there. If you're going to watch it, you're definitely going to be entertained. You're going to be a bit creeped out and want to know the mystery that's behind the whole thing of Frank and the end of the world. But it's not the movie that's going to be like anything that's going to win an Oscar or anything. So don't worry about that. <laughs> but... Let us know in the comments, what is the movie that you think it's trippy and it's got a bit of a sense of mystery that you're just like, that movie is awesome and I, I would recommend it. So let us know. And also stay tuned as next time we're going to be reviewing number 62 on our list, that is La La Land. Right, La La Land, i never seen it. I know a lot of people go crazy about it and I'm not the biggest fan of musicals, but you are. Okay, so I am the biggest fan of musical and I love them and usually whatever musical you just put me to see I'm gonna love it not all of it but like mm. most of them but with La La Land I went to the cinema to watch it just once so I don't remember it like as much mm. like I feel like I'm gonna watch it again some things I'm not gonna remember mm. but I really hated it <laughs> I'm not gonna, and I know that like it's a 50-50 kind of thing because I know a lot of people that hated it just like me and a lot of people that loved it. There's nothing in between. Mm. And I really hated it. And I'm sorry, but that's just my opinion. I think that movie is awful and it's very long as <laughs> well. we'll see. Maybe maybe you will change your mind rewatching it I again. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share, like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on our social media. And if you don't, then Frank the Rabbit is gonna haunt your dreams until you subscribe. Every day, every night, all day, you're gonna see Frank and he's always gonna torment you until you subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.